Y'all ever heard of the Southern Poverty Law Center? Yep. What is the Southern Poverty Law Center? They, they look out for groups that are It's a it's an organization that's behind the guise of civil rights designed to point out hate groups. We know about you. The Southern Poverty Law Center, you got some nerve. All of a sudden they had this campaign to put the Hebrew Israelites on the Southern Poverty Law Center group as on, on website as hate groups. That's right. So they put us in the same category with the Ku Klux Klan. Here it is, the Ku Klux Klan was burning people's houses down, burning crosses in people's yards, putting people to death. In Mississippi, they was tying chains around people and throwing them off bridges. And you got some nerve to put Hebrew Israelites in the same category with the Klan on your Southern Poverty Law Center hate group list. Hold on, hold on. That's a hypocrite if I ever seen one. Because we never hurt nobody. All we do is hurt your feelings when we read this Bible, man. You ain't never seen us lift up our hand hey, as Shalom. 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 You some hypocrites, man. And the Most High ain't dealing with you. But guess what? The Most High loved the Israelites so much. He loves us so much that he's cut you, Southern Poverty Law Center. He cut you. The Spirit of the Most High has come out to cut you and show y'all for what y'all really are, which is a bunch of hypocrites hiding behind a 5013C. That's right. Read what you got. This is the Southern Poverty Law Center from CNN. Some employees at the Southern Poverty Law Center say the legendary civil rights nonprofit. They called them a legendary group. You need a website to tell you that the Klan is a hate group? What's legendary? When did they stop the Klan? When did anybody from the Klan lose their job for being in the Klan? They never stopped the Klan. They still around. But you're going to have some nerve to put Hebrew Israelites on that list? Like we kill, murder, rob, and shoot people when all we do is teach the Bible and teach our people to keep God's laws, teach our men to love their wives, teach our women to love their husbands, teach our children to be obedient to their parents, and you got some nerve to put us on a list of a hate group, man. And that's why the Most High got a trick for you. Read. The, the legendary civil rights nonprofit group suffers from a systematic culture of racism and sexism within its workplace. <laughs> So now, wait, 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 the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a website set up to say that we're racist, suffers from racism and sexism within their workplace? That's the most high showing you to be a hypocrite, man. And that's why the Hebrew Israelite doctrine cannot be destroyed or stopped. Every time, everything you set up to try to take us down, it backfires on you, Esau. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 12. 13. 13. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. Yeah, he takes the wise in their own craftiness. You thought you could stop this movement by making us a hate group on the books, right? By going on CNN, putting out our different camps by name on television. Right. Look at these guys. They're a hate group. Look at them. But meanwhile, in your offices, you suffer from racism and sexism, Southern Poverty Law Center. You're hypocrites, and the Most High is not dealing with you. Read from verse 12. His dis he disappointeth the devices of crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Yeah, the Most High done disappointed you, man. The Southern Poverty Law Center is a joke now. How can you be a legendary civil rights organization if you suffer from a culture of racism and sexism? You're right. finished. Read on. The SPLC which has been one um, on the front line of the fight against racial inequality and injustice in the United States since 1971, has been thrust into chaos after allegations over its treatment of minority and female employees. That's embarrassing. So guess who should be on the Southern Poverty Law Center list? The, the Southern Poverty Law Center. That's right. Give me uh, Psalm 64 and, uh, and 8. Get that. I don't care what they like. You hypocrites are not going to win. The Most High is not dealing with you. Give me Job 20 and 5. He already got it. Oh, you want me to read that part? Yeah, keep reading. The claims have been followed by changes in its leadership and a company-wide review. So what difference does it matter if you change the leadership? The sickness is already inside you, Southern Poverty Law Center. Why don't you stop calling Hebrew Israelites a hate group and start calling us a love group? Because we teach blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics to love each other. That's right. That's what we teach. You call us a hate group because we're not dealing with no white people. Oh, so what? 
They got plenty of love groups. Most of their love groups involve destroying us. That's right. Why are you worried about us teaching our people to love each other? That's why the Most High has revealed that y'all have a culture of racism and sexism, and we're bringing it out in Atlanta. Keep teaching. Uh, it says, it was a system, uh, no, it's lucky. It was one of those employees who cited the systematic problems with racism and sexism, and the second employee agreed with that assessment. The Bible says two or three witnesses let a matter be established. That's right. And that's what I see right there. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. See, your own tongue is going to fall upon you, Southern Poverty Law Center. Your tongue is going to fall upon you. All that work you put into coordinated with CNN and MSNBC to get us listed as hate groups has come back on you now. And now CNN is turned on you and reporting against you. So we can't take you seriously, man. The only love group in America is the Hebrew Israelites because we're teaching right. you God's laws. And the only people that love you is the people that will teach you that. How I love you and I'm lying to you, man. And that's the, that's, that's the culture of America, a culture of lies and bloodshed, man. We're telling you the truth. Southern Poverty Law Center is lying. We come to find out that they're full of racism. So now when we look at them and they go hate groups by city and they got five Israelite camps at the top, and then 31 people down, you see Ku Klux Klan. Somebody's lying. Right, right. Somebody's lying. And you got an agenda. Read it again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall fall, shall flee away. And you're losing your friends now. And that's why CNN done turned on you, and now they're reporting against you. Got the black woman mad. You're finished now. Read on. The Alabama-based activist group is I didn't know that um, is nationally known for tracking civil rights abuses and hate crimes. Now you know for uh, tracking civil rights abuses and hate crimes, what hate crime has any Hebrew Israelite camp in the history of One West committed? We're waiting. We are waiting for you to say there's this one camp. They went and did this. You can't do it. The reason you made us on the hate crime list. It's because we're teaching that you are the devil and we lift in your skirt, Esau. Yes, sir. Oh, that's right. And, and, and you, we teaching that you the devil and we lift in your skirt and you mad. Oh, that's right. So, so what you tried to do is you tried to put the FBI on us, you tried to put the CIA against us, and you put agents in our camps. And you know what they find out? Damn, all these brothers do is study the scriptures and break them down all day. That's right. That's I mean, that's right. all they do. They're boring. They're boring. <laughs> all they do is teach the Bible all day. God. I mean, I try to get them to do something against the Bible, and then they correct me. <laughs> and even the young guys do it. We got, we're not making no headway here. So you try to put us on that list to demonize us in the eyes of our people, but your counsel has fallen upon your own head. Read it one more time for the people, man. This is great. When I read this, I, I, it was hilarious. Read. 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Their own tongue fall upon themselves. Read what you got. Find something good. <laughs> it says the group established itself as a crusading force by fighting racism and exposing extremist groups, taking many cases pro bono. A famed civil rights activist, the late Julian Vaughn, was a group of the first president. That's some history. Go ahead. It says, but one of the employees who spoke to CNN alleged the organization suffers from a pervasive Racist culture. The, the, the Southern Poverty Law Center suffers from a pervasive racist culture, man. That's why nobody's never done nothing about your Ku Klux Klan. That's why the Proud Boys can get khaki pants and buy all the tiki torches in Walmart and march on a city, man. Because you have a pervasive racist culture and we cutting you and your tongue is falling upon you. Because you're hypocrites, man. The biggest hypocrite on earth is the so-called white man because he rape, robs, yes, murders, man. and destroys, and then he comes and tells you that you are the bad guy. Bring it up. That's right. You sat up there on a court panel, judged by 12, and you said George Zimmerman was not guilty. You said it's okay to be afraid of black people because they're scary. So George Zimmerman was justified in shooting that boy because if you see a black person in the dark alley in the rain, you should be scared because right. black people are scary. Right. Mm. That's a pervasive racist culture sponsored by the Southern Poverty Law Center, man. That's right. 
You know who I should be afraid of? What? The people that took my forefathers and tied them to four horses and spanked the horses oh, and ripped my forefather in pieces, oh, man. I should be afraid of the people that got off boats and met people who gave them a cornucopia of food and killed them. That's uh, right. I should be afraid of people that want to build a wall to keep people out who are indigenous to that area. That's out. right. That's who I should be afraid of. Bring it out. But you got this narrative that black people are scary. When have I ever gone into a school and shot anybody? Right. What, yeah. ma right. what, right. mass, what mass shooter is a so-called black man? You laughing, right. but you with him. What mass shooter? What right. mass shooter? Where, where is our version of Dylan Ruth? You know, who's you know who I'm afraid of? Maladjusted white people. That's who I'm afraid of. Bring it out. Bring it out. Anytime one of you does a mass shooting, the, the media comes to your aid, and all of a sudden, he's a troubled teen with a checkered past, and he had to shoot because he was hurt on the inside. We need to look into depression. A black man robs a liquor store because he needs the money to feed his kids. A demonized thug runs in liquor store. News at 11. You guys are hypocrites, man. So your Southern Poverty Law Center has found out to be a racist, pervasive workplace and your tongue is falling upon yourself because you used CNN to try to help you and now CNN is reporting against you. Ha! The Most High wins again, you hypocrite. Give me that, uh, Job 20 and 5, man. You cannot get away, Esau. Every week I'm going to burn you up, man. Until the Most High take us off here. Read that. The employee described the current upheaval at the SPLC as a revolution against the organization's leadership initiated by employees because workers were tired of seeing the pervasive culture exist unchanged by those in charge. So now the people that were running the Southern Poverty Law Center by their own employees are called racists. But that whole organization is set up to convict and point out racists. That's the hypocrisy of the white man in America. And we're gonna bring it out every single Saturday right here and you ain't gonna do nothing. You're just gonna be mad. Read the Bible. A hypocrite, y'all the worst hypocrites on earth, man. Read the Bible. The book of Job chapter 20 and verse five, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. The joy of a hypocrite is but for a moment, man. You thought you was doing something with your red MAGA hats and all your news stories trying to demonize the Hebrew Israelites with your clever editing to only show them as chanting slurs at these people. Where's your clever editing for the Proud Boys out there in Charlottesville, man? You ain't got no clever editing. What about all the militia groups in Atlanta? Dudes walking around here with army fatigues on, training, buying up all the ammunition. We don't think you, you, don't, you don't think we know you doing that, Esau? God. Where's the video on you with your racist, pervasive culture? So at the end of the day, you're being exposed because you're a hypocrite. And a hypocrite shall never stand before the Lord. Give me Job 13, 16. A hypocrite shall never stand before the Lord. And you are a hypocritical nation. You got children. You teaching them that they can't have no damn genders now? But we are the people you're afraid of? No, I'm afraid of you weirdos, man. Read this. This is the book of Job, chapter 13 and verse 16. He also shall be my salvation, for a hypocrite shall not come before him. A hypocrite shall not come before the Lord. He is a righteous judge. The worst thing to be in a courtroom is a hypocrite, because when the cross-examination happens, you are finished. So when they ask who destroyed the earth, are they going to blame the Hebrew Israelites? No. When they ask who raped, robbed, and murdered every continent on earth, even Antarctica, are they going to blame the Hebrew Israelites? No. Are they, when they say, who put garbage in damn space, are they going to blame the Hebrew Israelites? No. When they say, who took Jesus Christ, a so-called black man according to the Bible, and set him up to be a white man and based him on the image of Cesare Borgia, are they going to say that the Hebrew Israelites did that? No. Esau, you did that. And y'all are going to pay for that, and you don't want to pay. That's why you're trying to seek to change laws and times. That's why now children don't have to have genders. That's why now in New Jersey, a child has to learn about LGBT practices in school. Right. He's not gonna learn math, astronomy, and science. He's gotta learn how to be a freak, man. Right. Uh, uh, bring it out. But right. black people are scary. Right. No, y'all are scary, man. That's right. And the most I gonna put the spirit on us to deal with you heathens, That's man. That's right. Bring it out. Right. Finished. Read right. what you got. The book of Matthew. 
chapter 24 and verse 51. And it shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. And you're going to be appointed your portion with the hypocrites, man. You broke every treaty with the Native Americans. Every single treaty. But then you got some nerve to put on a MAGA hat and go up there and, and then contest that man beating a drum with 40 wild, maladjusted, weird, possible school shooters. If I pro <laughs> hey, hey, if I profile you, if I profile you, what did Dylan Roof look like? Weird, maladjusted, blonde haired, blue eyed white boy. What about the Boston Bomber? Weird, skinny, brunette, white boy. I'm saying, man, if we profile you, we need to go get bulletproof vests. Y'all nuts. But you try to make this idea that we are scary, that we are frightening. When all we do is try to survive your oppression, man. And only we could do it. Put you in slavery for 400 years, won't be none of them devils left, man. But we thrived. Invented everything you need. Even this weird intersection is only working because a black man gave you that damn stoplight. Right. Yeah, yeah. Under harsh oppression. Uh, that's right. But you got the Southern Poverty Law Center calling us a hate group. Meanwhile, you're being exposed as having a pervasive racist culture. Eat that. And I hope, I, and, and, and I'm teaching from now on as if Esau got cameras somewhere and he's filming trying to figure out how to edit this to make us the bad guy. No, you're going to have to play that. Because everything we saying is thus saith the Lord or it's facts about you and we not lying. Do what you got. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Yeah, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, man. Now to be wise in this world, you got to be, uh, uh, you got to be understanding of pedophiles that that's a, a life choice and that's love too. That's what they teaching in your schools, man. This is a pervasive racist culture in America and a hypocritical nation. When are you people gonna wake up, you blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics? You wanna ride up and down, listen to music, and party your life away, but you don't want a nation. These people are making decisions that don't include you, and you don't care. You just wanna be happy, you need a blunt to smoke. And they're making laws, man, to destroy you, to take away your creature comforts, women. Because the next thing that's going is this welfare. That's out of here. That's right. right. All right? And don't try to say that black people are on welfare when we know that the mass majority number on welfare are white people. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. And the number one Section 8 users are so-called white Jews. That's right. That's the number one user of Section 8. Mm. But you don't want to learn these things. You want to smoke a black and mouth. We trying to tell you right now to wake up. This is the last days and the Most High is going to destroy this place shortly. And the only people that are going to get an escape from that destruction are the people that repent, come back to the law, statutes and commandments as Hebrew Israelites, man. That's right. We're not, doing no, we're not no damn hate group and the Southern Poverty Law Center, you've been cut. We're the only love group in the world. Message. Bring your sirens. We want all that. Bring your music. We want all that. Because only this word is only for the elect anyway. Give me Matthew 13, 10. This word is only for the elect. You think we feel bad when you walk up and down the block and you don't listen? You think we feel bad when we say, hey, sister, come hear the word. And she, ah, 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 ah. You think we feel bad? We're looking at a vessel for destruction. The angels rejoice when one repents and comes back to keep the commandments. One. This kingdom was made for many, but the world to come is made for few. Thus saith the Holy Bible. That's right. Read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 10. And his disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Come on. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So if you ain't hearing this word, I don't care, because that means that this is not given to you. I'm looking forward to a righteous kingdom without, without any LGBTQRSTLUINXXYZ people around here. That's right. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to when I don't have to look at this. But this is okay in America. <coughs> you didn't learn this from nobody else but your oppressor, man. When he was buck breaking you in slavery. When he was keeping you at the age of a six-year-old and you a grown man, but mentally he kept you at the age of a six-year-old and locked you in a pen and used you to stud women. But we're scary? The greatest terrorist on the face of the earth is the so-called white man, and y'all need to understand this. 
He wants to destroy your mind, he wants to destroy your spirituality, and he wants to destroy your families. And the only thing that's going to save you is the laws of the Bible. And unless you come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, you blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, you are going to continue to be on the bottom of society. Waiting for your tax return so that you can go buy some more weed. This is what your life has boiled down to. You don't want to be a ruler, a governor. You don't want to have a province. You don't want to be a duke, man. You don't want to be an earl. You don't want none of that that gives you uh, 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 sovereignty and nationhood. All you want to do is get by. And who taught you that? That getting by is good enough. But the Most High said he's got a kingdom that he's pleased to give you. He says it is my good pleasure to give you the kingdom. But you got to want it, man. You got to want it, man. Your life is mundane. All you do is get high, get drunk, and give your money back to this devil. Right. Something has to give. You have to wake up at some point. And we come out here and prophesy against this wicked kingdom week in and week out because the brothers that speak against all the abominations are the ones who shall be saved, man. Give me Ezekiel 9 and 4. Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 12. That seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear, and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven then. And that's what's going to happen if you actually bow down to this Bible. You will be forgiven. Your sins will be healed, man. But you want to you try to find a way to make the Bible flex to the lifestyle that you want to live. You got people up here telling me to my face, the Most High understands me, as if he's on your time. When was he ever on your time? You're on his time. The Lord is not understanding you. You need to understand the Lord's ways to the best of your ability. That's why the Bible says, seek wisdom. But with all thy getting, get understanding. And that's what none of you have because they're not giving it to you in these churches, man. They're giving you white Puritan Christianity and they're just telling you to be docile. Just chill out and get by. We ain't trying to get by. We're trying to be the top nation in the earth like the promises say. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. This is what we're trying to be. We ain't trying to get by. It's not good enough to be a peon for this white man anymore, man. He is not on your level. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. This is a promise of God. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken and diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. You don't want that, black man? You don't want that. You just want to get by. You don't want that. No, we're not dealing with that. You don't want that, do you, black man? No, ain't no hold on. Yo, get him. Get him away from me. Get him away from me. Because we're going to deal with these scriptures right now. We're going to get thus saith the Lord. There will be no distractions today. You are going to learn that you are the greatest people on the face of the earth, and we're trying to give you the keys. You can choose to stay in America, listen to your rap, smoke your blunt, be a nigga as long as you want, or you can be the chosen people of God, man. These are the choices you have. The Bible says choose life and death, and I'm telling you to choose life, man. These nations are confederate against you. Give me Psalms 83, man. They are confederate against you. They have figured out how to keep you in a lower state with their taxes, with their job system. Yo, take them out of here, man. And their money. We're trying to give you the way out. We're trying to show you how the Most High has a plan for you. If you keep the commandments, he can take you out of this circumstance. No more living for Friday, man. You have a perpetual kingdom. And this devil's going to be underneath your feet like he had our grandfathers resting his feet on their backs, man. And he hates that. He ain't sorry and he don't want to pay. That's right. I want to see one of them denounce their grandfathers. Which one of these devils ever said, my grandfather was a slave owner, he was a heathen monster, and I denounce him? No, they want us to denounce the Bible. They want us to denounce the laws of God. They don't want to denounce their history, though. Which one of them is going to apologize for detonating a, 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 a 150 megaton bomb over there in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and burning the skin off the back of civilians? No, it's okay because they, they because Pearl Harbor, brother, it's okay. Well, what are we going to do for slavery? What's our retribution? Hot fire from the Most High. That's our retribution. And you devils can't stand the heat, man. 
ultraviolet radiation cooks you devils. Wait till the most highest fire comes, man. 83 and 1. Read. We know what y'all up to, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1. Esau thought he could get away. Esau cannot get away. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to hold my peace. We out here bold teaching these scriptures, man. Because we love you, man. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thine hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All these nations have since the beginning tried to figure out how to stop you from waking up and realizing that you are the Israelites. Do you believe that? That's what the Bible is telling you. All these nations, their UN, their, their, their League of Federation, their government agencies are all set up to stop you from believing that you are the Israelites. Because then you're going to turn to God's laws and they can no longer exploit you. That's that crafty counsel. Bring it up. But that counsel is going to come to naught. Give me uh, Isaiah 8 and 10. You go in that church, they give you white Jesus, and they clap and they sing with you as long as you accept their white Jesus. Ain't no white man nowhere worshiping the true image of Jesus. They're not going to do it. But you, you happily worship a God that doesn't look like you. And then when we go in the Bible and show you that that's, that's you, that this is your mirror. The first thing you do is ask about his salvation, man. They did a great job on you niggas, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 10. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand. That's what they do. They take counsel together, but it shall come to naught. You have a God that will fight for you. You understand that? You have a God that will fight for you. And we talking to the Hebrew Israelites, you blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. You have a God that will fight for you, man. Right. What God is going to tell you to teach your children not to have a damn gender? So how can that man be of God? He's the ultimate super heathen. When are you going to realize this? And you copy every one of his ways. Everything he comes up with, you down with it. You want to be with it. You are a willing participant in all of his wickedness. Uh, 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 eagerly accepting him. None of you care about what happened to your forefathers. None of you. Oh, she, she, she's worse. She loves him. That's her lover. Yeah, yeah, that's her lover. And them, and them fingers are going to be poking your eyeballs in the kingdom for the rest of eternity. You keep playing. Read the book of Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall, cons shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. That's the Bible telling you about that hot nuclear thermal fire that's coming here, man. What kind of fire can cook you while you're standing on your feet? The same one that they put on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You think they're gonna get away? You think the Most High is unrighteous? To let them just uh, show that great wicked force and there's no repercussion? You think the Most High gonna let them get away? That's why we gotta come out here and provoke the Lord to move. That's why we gotta come out here and sigh a cry against all the abominations done in the land. I like that scripture, Ezekiel 9 and 4, get it. It's always good. Get it, Ezekiel 9 and 4, get it. Quick on the sword. Come on. It's always good. Shalom, Mark. We want our sisters to understand that when we out here teaching this Bible, we're the only people that ever taught you the truth of the Bible. Right. We want our young brothers to understand you walking around. Listen, to, look at your style. Your whole style is Trump. They got you wearing jeans that fit like leggings, and you lifting up your shirt to show your ass so the women can see your belt. That's what the black man has been boiled down to? Homo. And then the sisters, when you press them, yo, why you coming outside with clothes that look like you naked? I could do what I want to do. It's my body. Never once did she think that she was sacred, man. Now the black woman is a damn city girl. That's right. Right. Instead of a queen, uh, uh, the Bible says she was once so delicate that she wouldn't even put her bare feet on the sand right. for delicacy. 
and you let these people turn you into a free stripper, up and down. They can see everything you got. Who did that to you? It wasn't the Hebrew Israelites. It was that terrorist, that white man, the ultimate terrorist, man. We. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So when you out here accepting the wickedness of this world and not saying a damn thing, you ain't getting that mark. That righteous mark is going to those who sigh and cry against all the abominations done in the land. They got drag queen library time? What business does a five-year-old child have learning about a man who wants to dress as a woman? What does it have to do with his development? But you'll have the white people tell you, you're intolerant, you have to accept everybody. So I gotta teach a child to be a freak, man? He can't be a child first? Right. But when I argue that point, oh, I'm just evil and mean. No, it was evil and mean to rape our foremothers. That was evil and mean. Oh, that was a long time ago. Hey, everything was a long time ago, but you still remember the damn Alamo, you hypocrite. You still, I go to Jersey City right now, you, you can still see on the other side of the Hudson River, the two lights for 9-11, right? But that was a long time ago. Right. Why the hell are we still worried about 9-11? Well, people died. Well, my fathers died, man. My grandfather died, man. My father worked in a tobacco field in North Carolina, picking worms off tobacco leaves, while a white man called his mother by his first name. That's what made my father the most mad, that a white man called his mother by her first name. You know my father told me that story like it was yesterday. I had to sit there and this devil calling my mother by her first name. He's the same age as me. We got no respect back then. And then he grind his teeth and he goes back to watching TV. But he's supposed to forget that, right? No, we're not forgetting nothing. The Bible says call to, the, to, call to mind the years of many generations and remember the days of old. And that's what we're gonna do. And in the days of old, you blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics were great people in the earth. They didn't have no goddamn land. They had to come here and kill all the Native American Indians to have a place. Shalom. 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 But they had to do it with subtility. When they got off the boats, they was impoverished, eating damn salted beef for four months, and they was all weak with scurvy, and they had lice all over them. So they needed the Native American Indian man to build them back up and teach them agriculture and heal them and give them some good corn with some damn vitamins in it. But the white men don't want to talk about that. Then you get some proud devils. Well, what about now? What you gonna do about it? We're gonna show you. The Most High is gonna kill you, devil. Read this out the Bible. Read. Keep reading. Read it out. Read it out. I don't, I don't bounce. Nine, go to five. Nine and five. Ezekiel nine five. You are not gonna get away, Esau. And I don't care about your homosexual movement. You try to teach me uh, sensitivity for homosexuals? Who's got sensitivity for the black man in America? He needs sensitivity, man. Because everything is designed to destroy him. He needs sensitivity. Then we gotta have sensitivity for everything else, which are opioid crisis. When you put drugs in our community for years, you 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 Guido. Oh man, I tell you, man. The book of Ezekiel, chapter nine and verse five. And to the others he said, In mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. What the Bible say? Slay utterly old. And young. That's out of the Holy Bible, man. This is not the sermon that they're giving you on Sunday when they pass in that plate. This is the real deal, man. This place is finished. And if you want to get up out of here, you have to get with the Most High's program. Give me Ezekiel 25 and 14. You have to get with the Most High's program if you want to get out of here. You cannot concede to the wickedness of your oppressor. He was the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of the next thereof. The kingdom is waiting for you, but you gotta want it first. Why would you give somebody a, 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 a 150 carat diamond, as big as your hand, and they don't want it? Why would you give it to him? It's his, but you know better than to give it to him because he's gonna cast it on the side, and you know the value of it. So you think the Most High gonna give you the kingdom and you don't want it? Read the Bible. Who got it? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 14. This is the judgment for these devils and what they've done in the earth. Rape, rob, and murdering God's chosen people. This is their judgment. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hands of my people, Israel. Come on. 
and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. And that's how we're going to get that, because vengeance is of the Lord, but he's going to let you have it. He's going to get all that hurt out of your heart. All that generational hurt is going to be out of your heart when the Most High lets you get your retribution. But you got to want that. And if you want it, you would keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Or you can stay in America at the bottom just trying to get by. If that's what you want, you can have that. But the brothers up here, we want the kingdom of heaven. Good? So with that, my name is Brother Yara All. We are the Sons of Thunder. All right? It is our prayer and heart's desire for Israel that they might be saved. Go sign that, brother. Brother Nabal. Come on. Brother Micaiah. Brother Akira. Brother Rock Brother Chris. Brother Eric. It's our prayer and heart's desire for Israel that they might be saved. Right, Brother Carl? That's right. All right? Call me Asherala. The kingdom of heaven is ours. You just got to want that. Shalom. Shalom. Great camp. 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 Great